Hello, I'm Christopher Kennedy, and welcome to Smoke, Fire and Explosions in After Effects. And we're going to look at everything from the finest wisps of smoke to huge explosions, complete with fire and debris. Everything that you do here will be completed within After Effects. The only exception is that I will show you how you can use a camera to shoot liquids and cloth to create some fire effects. But other than that, you don't need any third-party filters. You are able to create all the particles, the fire effects, the smoke, everything within After Effects. So we'll look at ways of tracking in subtle smoke and, and shooting liquids to create smoke that can be added to compositions. So you can take something like this and make it look like a barren burning landscape. We'll also look at more large scale fires, how you can create the sort of distant fires you often see in TV shows. And then as your skills improve, I'll start looking at how you can create the debris for explosions. It's quite a lot of work to get the shatter effect to work in 3D and send debris where you want it to go. And then you'll work on creating gasoline type fires and smoke and adding that all in, combining it with extra particles that land on the floor and smoke that rises through the scene. And you'll complete the shot by adding damage to the wall so that it appears as though a hole has been blown in the wall. I hope that by the end of this course you'll have sufficient skills that you can create smoke, fire and even fully complex dramatic explosions. And if you work with After Effects much you'll know that this is something you've always been asked to do. Clients often want smoke, fire and explosions so you should now be able to give them exactly what they want.